Usually when I talk about Amazon, their voice assistant and their smart home products, I'm bringing you just a few new products and a ton of new features. Now today, we're gonna flip that on its head and I'm gonna talk about a ton of new products that work with Amazon's voice assistant as well as a number of new features for you. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm going to take the frustration out of automation by keeping you up to date with Amazon's voice assistant and their entire suite of smart home products. It's a hard thing to keep track of and so that's why we produce these weekly videos. Something Amazon is doing right now is called the Amazon Voice Assistant Social Bot Challenge or Grand Challenge and this is just a fun little experience for you to go through and anytime you ask this to your voice voice assistant, you will get one of 10 entrants into what is a competition. So let's chat. Welcome to the Alexa Prize, a university competition to advance AI. Hi, this is an Alexa Prize social bot. I don't think we have been properly introduced. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Brian. Hey, Brian, it's an enormous pleasure to meet you. Have we chatted already? I'm not sure. Nope, this is our first time. I'm happy that you're back. How is it going? <laughs> uh, good, thanks. How are you? Well, I'm always busy as people keep chatting with me all the time. So I had quite a lengthy chat with that chat bot and honestly that one didn't quite make it for me so I didn't give it a great review but you can see how this is just a little bit of a fun thing and you can take part and actually rate those chat bots to hopefully move this part of the experience forward. Now it might surprise you to know if you're kind of knee deep in Amazon's voice assistant that Google's voice assistant cannot delete calendar entries and so this is a really important thing for a lot of people. You can do this with Amazon's voice assistant once you've connected your email or your calendar from any of the services that Amazon has access to with a simple command. Delete my meeting for tomorrow. I found multiple events tomorrow. What's the name or start time of the event you want to delete? 10 a.m. Delete Kit Kit at 10 a.m. for tomorrow, right? Yes. Now something that's not necessarily a new feature, but you can kind of pair these two things together to get a lot of capability is the ability to have your calendar entries announced uh, on any of Amazon's devices. So you can go ahead and set that and you can also set a time period that it's not going to announce those for. So you don't necessarily want something triggering at 2 a.m. And so you can go ahead and set that. Something else you can do with calendars is simply to ask a follow-up question to see if you're free at a specific time. So, am I free tomorrow at 8 a.m.? Here's what I found. All hands meeting tomorrow at 8 a.m. So there you go. Now, I, it did answer right away for me. It checked my calendar. And now I can go ahead and add something if I've got that space or I can delete and move calendar entries as well. If you didn't notice, and I'll leave this down in the description below as well as on screen right now, the Y sensors have come into Amazon's voice assistant and I have found them pretty good. You'll get a bit of a delay for triggering routines and events inside of Amazon's voice assistant up to about a second, but then they do work to be able to trigger routine so that's very powerful when you consider the price of five or six dollars for one of those sensors now the other thing you might notice is the ability on a fire TV stick or a fire TV cube uh, the ability to set timers reminders and alarms now one thing that Amazon tells you right away is make sure you are leaving your TV on that input and otherwise what's going to happen is it's just going to end up in the notification section that reminds or that alarm so you wouldn't actually hear it. Now we will walk through just a ton of products that were announced at CES or right thereafter. And we can start with Ring and their products. Now they released a PAR30 outdoor rated bulb, an A19 outdoor rated bulb, and a solar uh, based motion floodlight as well. So all three of those are very welcome additions to outdoor lighting setups, especially for those of you with Ring products already. 
Yeti. GE showed us an amazing light switch actually that will work within their C by GE platform and will connect to Amazon's voice assistant. And there were a few of these at CES, but I think GE's was especially impressive with the ability to ignore the neutral or basically not care if you have a neutral wire or don't have a neutral wire in your house. And that is so important for people to be able to buy something and know going forward that it will work no matter where they deploy it within their smart home. If we talk about water within your smart home, there's a lot to talk about. Now the Flow by Moen was introduced at CES 2019 and one was one of the best products there. Now at CES 2020, they upped again, they upped the ante with a new version of that product. Kohler also put out a new Amazon voice assistant capable smart speaker that went into a shower head. So that was very interesting. And we saw a new system from Orbit and their Beehive smart sprinkler system that had connectivity to Amazon's voice assistant as well. As far as I'm concerned, smart video cameras are an entirely saturated market and you really have to look for a unique value, I think, within this market. But we saw a Bode and Swan put out new versions of smart home cameras as well as a video doorbell from Swan. ADT put out indoor, outdoor and a video doorbell and it's interesting to see them try and push in to a little bit more of the consumer level side of things. What surprised me at CES was just how many smart appliances started to show up. Now one of the most interesting ones was something called Julia and this is a smart all-in-one cooker and I think it relates very closely to lots of the other devices that we've seen from Instapot and there's a couple other versions of smart cookers that uh, maybe cook on a different principle but that was one of the most interesting ones. The Weber Connect Smart Grill should have Amazon Voice Assistant integration sometime in early 2020 here and actually one of my favorite products at all of CES especially for new construction was the Schneider Electric full panel. I mean they had a full smart panel with a great interface and will have Amazon Voice Assistant connectivity and capability for controlling that system. So that's every breaker in your home you could be managing on a very uh, a very detailed basis. Toshiba and Sharp showed us new smart microwave ovens that have voice connectivity options and Belkin actually put out a new connected smart crock pot that would obviously go up against the Instapot again which is kind of the mainstay I think and is the one in my kitchen. We saw a couple of air purifiers actually from a company called One Life and another called Coway and LG had a front load washer that was actually voice assistant integratable as well within their ThinQ lineup. Chamberlain showed off a new smart garage door opener with a very, very bright LED attached to it. That's smart as well. And actually Genie showed off a new wall mountable garage door opener. There are so many smart speakers out there. At this point, it's not even funny, but Klipsch and Pow Audio put out a bunch. Now we have a ton of new televisions and projectors and I'm not gonna go through them all, but we saw new ones from Sony, LG, Samsung, Panasonic, Philips, and a voice remote from Vizio that had Amazon Voice Assistant integration as well. And ViewSonic created 4K projectors that are both portable and have Amazon's voice control capability within them. And also just before CES, Citizen came out with a new Amazon enabled smart clock or Amazon Voice Assistant enabled smart clock. So some different versions of that smart wall clock coming out. Wi-Fi 6 and the Wi-Fi mesh systems for Wi-Fi 6 were out there in force and actually we saw TP-Link and their Deco uh, mesh system actually get Amazon Voice Assistant capability where you can go ahead and turn on and off the guest network. D-Link has a new Wi-Fi 6 mesh system as well called the 5400 and that has Amazon Voice Assistant right on board it. Now a company called Aris actually has a whole Wi-Fi 6 mesh system that you can go ahead and use Amazon's voice assistant to pause and unpause your Wi-Fi access entirely and actually schedule the entire system. I showed you the Lamborghini. I didn't talk about BMW and some voice assistant integration there with Amazon, but the Rivian was probably the biggest and most interesting conversation we had there because 
not only is that product coming out with Amazon Voice integration right in that vehicle, but on top of that, that is going to become the basis for their 100,000 uh, strong fleet of vans for delivery and packages. So be very interesting to see Amazon and this partner really creating a product to help with delivery systems. I could probably go on for quite a while, but I'm gonna leave it there. I mean, we saw an Oral-B connected toothbrush, so we could go on for days with what Amazon has partnered with other companies, but what might help you is to go watch some of our other CES coverage. Now, we had a specific specific video where we showed you just a ton of new products that's up on screen and you can also go watch some of our deeper learnings where we pull things out about the smart home industry and how it will impact your home out of this massive event. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching and of course, don't hate, automate.